Wow, check it out. No leaks, no nothing. Can this be true? What a beauty. Hello everyone, so I went a bit crazy and I bought a really old Mercedes V6 2.6 blind. Didn't even bother looking at it, just bid on it and got it. And guess what, I think I struck gold here. This is an absolute beauty. 42,000 miles and literally a husband and wife owner from new. 17 stamps on the book, 13 of which are Mercedes main dealer. Can you believe that? And it's just been serviced and guess what? They spent a whopping £700 on the service just in February, which is about three months ago. And you can see it's been looked after. I mean, look how lovely it sounds. And you'll see from the uh, underbonnet footage that I'll give. She's an absolute tidy one, this one. Obviously, he's got the usual uh, Merc foibles of the age. You can see, got a little bit of rust bubbles starting to show on the front wing there. But otherwise, look at her. Absolutely fantastic. Some little scuffs there, parking scuffs that need touching in. So there's some surface rust marks there, but that's not gone through and that's not bubbling. That's literally just on the surface and will touch in. And as you can see, telltale mark that's been looked after. It's got really good tyres, premium tyres all round. Look nice and tidy. Got the odd little mark there, but look at that. And common with these is that it's rusty down here, but as you can see, that is nice and clean. Not thing whatsoever wrong. The backside on this car is sublime. Look at this boot. Huge boot. No idea why that's there, but anyway, huge boot. 6 CD auto changer. And a spare that's never been used, and it's a full size one as well. What's that? Pirelli P6000. Look at that. Fantastic. Nice Germanic thud. Look at that. All the lenses are nice. Check it out. On this side, it's quite good. Just a bit of a dent mark there that hasn't gone through the paint, but this age, I think, we leave that. Check out the interior. Well, well, well. Look at that. Lovely. And the carpets are like new. Amazing leg room. Loads of space underneath to tuck your feet in. Of course there's a huge hump in the middle but hey ho and these seats are so nice and squidgy and comfortable and forgiving and they're angled this way towards you so you've got your legs up a little bit so they're for excellent for comfort on long journeys and these bolsters are long as well so as a passenger you love it that's why they're so popular as a um, taxi let's see that it's supposed it says there's a thing in there but I'll check later oh look at that so I fiddled about with it you pull it a bit more and there is an, an original unused medical kit wow look at that fantastic woohoo I like this one check it out let's have a look nice and clean seats very good order I just need a bit of a clean so this is the odd thing about this car right it's so nice and clean around but for some reason these buttons see that there's some glues I don't know what on earth is going on it's some yucky gluey substance or whatever I am not touching that that's gonna get decontaminated otherwise look at the walnut Excellent order. All the electrics, everything's working. There's no warning lights. Look, 42055. The only thing, I said no warning lights, but the only thing on there is that it's saying that the water fluid uh, needs to be um, topped up, but it's all topped up, so I think it's just the sensor for the uh, windscreen washer fluid um, bottle. Because let's have a look under the bonnet and you'll have a see what I mean. So check out this. So obviously I haven't dressed the car yet because I want you to see how it's like. I don't want you thinking I'm hiding anything. But have a look at this. Bone dry, everything as it should be. Look at that. No leaks or nothing. 
usually you get oil leaks on these uh, rocker cover gaskets but that's all good all original nice and straight can't ask for more can we oh he pulls well not one of those that throws you back on your seat but it kind of wafts you like a well, oh, I don't want to say a Rolls Royce but you know what I mean it's just luxury this is uh, that V6 has got a nice power but they've uh, clearly designed it to uh, deliver power in a nice smooth linear way so that you feel wafted along and with this nice cushiony suspension it soaks up every hump and bump on the road and you just get cosseted along like a magic carpet ride this is a nice sleeper car on the red, you know, at the traffic lights, anyone tries to outrun this, they will get a shock of their life how responsive this car is. It's amazing. Oh dear me, this is superb. I think I'm in love with this car. Wow, and visibility all around is excellent for such an old car and the way it was designed as a saloon. So, for that, it's very good. I mean, you do feel its size when you're driving around. And of course it's got the old school Germanic heavy steering so if you're used to ja driving Japanese cars you might think this car hasn't got power steering but it has but I love the weighting of these uh, uh, steering wheel it gives you that extra bit of direct feeling as you're driving ah brilliant fantastic insulation you don't hear any road noise this is fantastic for your motorway cruisers if you want to go down the autobahn this is lovely fantastic car let's go for a final review so there you have it got myself a good one such a lovely drive an autobahn cruncher and as you can see if they're looked after then uh, they serve you well and um, are an absolutely sublime car to own but of course you're gonna have to have deep pockets the previous owners they love this car but they've spent thousands keeping it in the condition and on the road um, just as uh, as a indication last service 650 quid the service before that 450 quid so on average you're going to be spending at least five to seven hundred pounds a year keeping these on the road so they're not cheap but if you look after them they reward you plenty but look it's a 2.6 v6 it's not going to be the same maintenance as a one liter is it it's like saying um you know a grown adult needs to uh, eat the same amount as a five-year-old not gonna happen is it so uh let's be realistic go for a 2.6 like this and you'll be smiling all the way to wherever you want to go either it's tesco's or on your autobahn holidays fantastic car and they're available for bargain prices right now and I would say uh, get them before they uh, become really expensive these things are going to explode in value because they're so rare and it's so rare to find something like this that's been so well looked after usually people um, neglect these and uh, unfortunately they go to the crushers but this is one of those survivors and there's not many around in the UK so grab them while you can like and subscribe see you in the next one bye bye